everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a ColourPop review, sort of. I just got a package from ColourPop last week and I wanted to film all of last week, but I wasn't feeling good so now I'm feeling better and I'm, I'm happy I can finally do this. Um, I was actually watching, this is such a funny story, I was watching Kathleen Light's old videos where, sorry if the light is changing my cats in the window and if you hear my ice maker making ice because it's Florida and we need ice but I was watching Kathleen Light's old favorites videos of just ColourPop and I was watching the old ones and then I literally commented if she could do a new one and within a week she did a new one and it came with like when she did it there was a code that came with it where you could get like 20% off of all her favorites so I went on and I bought some stuff because I wanted to actually buy from them anyways, which is why I was watching her videos to see what was the best stuff from ColourPop. So, I picked up a couple things. I didn't pick up a whole bunch because it was only 20% off. And with her, like, 20%, even though it said you didn't need a code for the stuff, you couldn't use a code with it. So I couldn't get anything else off. Not that it was super expensive, but I'm cheap as fuck. So I was trying to use another code and I couldn't. So I only spent around $20, $30. Because I did get foundation and stuff. So today I have no makeup on my face. And I will be trying the products on my face. Um, I have used them before. Like yesterday was the 4th of July. And I did wear them. And I wore them I think like once last week. But I really, really like them. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. You get your package. It comes like this. Super cute. Um, I will also be reviewing. I bought earlier this year. I bought the... Uh, Zoella palette and I actually did do a video where I unboxed it and swatched it and I literally I never post that video but at the end I was like I can't wait to get off of this filming to go play with it and I did play with it and I've been playing with it for a couple months so I want to review it now so I will talk about that too inside I got six products I got four hold on let me hold them all right for you so you can see them all I got four shadows these are the Super Shock Shadows, and, hold on, I forgot to do something. There we go. So much better, right? Um, these are the Super Shock Shadows, and I got four different colors. I'm going to tell you what I got. So online, I will probably post, hopefully, a picture, like, right here, of what my order looked like, showing that the colors looked different. And then when I got them, the boxes came like this, and they all look almost identical in the packaging, which is so funny to me, but I got Party of Five, I got Lightning Bug, got Weenie, and I got DGAF, I didn't know what that stands for, but they all look really similar in the packaging. I do, I want to say all of these are from her, like, favorites. I don't think I, didn't, I got anything that wasn't on her favorites. But I'm going to swatch it. This is D D G A F, which I'm sure means something and I should probably know it. I just want to say all these colors are like butter when you touch them. It's so pretty. And this one is like shimmery, like super shimmery with like like gold and rainbowy um, glitter in it. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Maybe, yeah, there you go. Really glittery. So that is DG, DGAF. This one is Party of Five. I'm going to swatch this as fast as possible. Because I still got to do my makeup. Do a different finger for this one. This one, I don't know if you can see, but it has glitter flecks in it as well. And this one's just like the last one, but a pinker tone. So there, it's right there. And it also has glitter flecks. I would say like the exact same glitter. Then I'm going to do lightning bug. There's so much stuff on my hands already. Lightning bug. I love how nice these all feel. Like, So this actually has the exact same glitter, and it's more of a gold. Whereas this one is kind of like a... Uh, sh oh my god, doing this backwards is hard. Like a redder gold kind of brownish color. This one right here is more of like a true gold gold color. Like here are my fingers if you can see the difference in them. This is, nope, nope. This is the gold I just put on. This is the first one and this is the red one. 
This is already a shit show, you guys. <laughs> and then the last color that I purchased was the Super Shock in Weenie. Oh, so pretty. So this one, however, doesn't look like it has glitter. It's just more of like a metallic copper color. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. This is it on my finger. It's they're so buttery and beautiful. Um I actually have just been putting like one to two colors and just like kind of putting one color in really dark here and then working it lighter towards the middle. God, my face looks like crap now. All I have on is um lotion on my face right now. Oh, my hands are so glittery. But those are the four shadow oh, look, see there you can kind of see the difference. And I have swatched these every time I've used them to see which color I'm putting on because they look so similar. These swatches stay on my hand all freaking day. Like, all day. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay. Anyways, next thing I got was their... Sorry, I have little paper things everywhere now. Were the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and the No Filter Stick, which is their foundation stick. And my color was Medium Dark uh, 130 cool I think is what the C stands for yeah and I am obsessed with this I found the concealer first because I want to say I knew what concealer I was for some weird reason maybe I tried it out at the store or something yeah that's what I did I went to Ulta and they had the con concealer or something and I tried out the concealer and I was in medium 24 and then I went and I found which foundation stick went with it something like that I know I went to um, my Ulta to see if they had it so this is the foundation stick it's really nice I'm just gonna put it on and I don't have a freaking mirror next to me what the hell am I doing this is so weird doing this backwards hold on this might take me a second dude this feels like butter on my skin maybe it's because I have lotion on right now I need a palette with there we go with a mirror and then I'm just gonna take this brush which honestly I don't even know what this brush is this is I think this is an yeah an it cosmetics brush you can tell that I got this other dumpster because it was on the display and this is the smooth skin complexion number 407 oh my god I'm sorry my face is turning red because I just turned off all my fans and my air conditioner to film this video because they're kind of loud and so I will instantly turn red because I'm wearing clothes and this is Florida and that's just how Florida works. This is so weird because it's opposite in the camera versus real life. So I have worn this. I wore this all day yesterday and it wears beautifully. Um, I also wore it like the day before. And the only thing I will say is when you go outside, it looks slightly dewier, which... I'm not super mad at, but it's a beautiful foundation stick. She said that they're, like, really good, and she was right, or Kathleen Lights is really right. They are, they are really nice. If you don't follow Kathleen Lights, I didn't know who she was until I saw her in Jessie's, Jessie Smiles videos, and then I went and followed her just in case she put up any funny videos with Jessie, and then recently in the last couple of months I've been watching all her makeup videos, and she's like my favorite go-to person now, I just, I love her, I love, she gives you like, I don't know, I just, she's super calming and sweet, and she's really into zodiac signs and stuff, which also, so am I, because I'm just that kind of person, and I just really, really like her, so I've been really into her, and I trust what she says, and now that I've tried products that she has recommended, and I really, really like them, like, a lot, I will probably trust her even more. I feel like this looks weird on the camera, like, I look really dark, like it oxidized, but I assure you it didn't, and it looks more normal in real life. Hold on, let me see if I change the light. So that looks more normal. Sorry, maybe I was just washing up my face. I will say it does look a little shiny right now just because, again, like I said, I had to turn off the fans and I'm probably already sweating here. And my face just naturally goes to a red tone. Okay, so now I will use the concealer stick. How long is this video already? Already 10 freaking minutes. God, I hate me. Okay. 
So I'm gonna try to do this fast. And I am in the concealer shade medium 24, which says 18C3 on the bottom. So I don't know if that's like color 18 and then cool three or something, but I don't know. That looks really weird. But when I got this, because the concealer shade was so much lighter than the actual foundation, I didn't think it was going to work, but it, it literally blends perfectly. How was your all's 4th of July? Mine was fun. Sort of. It was hot. Very, very hot. Okay, so, next I'm just going to do my eyebrows really fast. Okay, so now that I have my brows done, I'm just going to jump into the shadow. I think today I'm going to do DG AF. I think I like that one a lot. lightning bug because I'm pretty sure it's the other gold color with a sparkle on it and I'm just going to put that over part of the first color I did. So now I'm just going to show you what I pretty much do for the rest of my face. It's nothing special. I forgot to put... Yesterday, I will say I did put um, the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer on first. And I think it did lay down better with that. Um, and I also didn't do it in this heat when I did it yesterday. And I took my time. But I still think this looks really good. Um, my mouth looks really bad. So I'm going to just take this. This is the Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner in Fishnet. And I'm just going to put this on my top waterline. And then I'm going to take... Is this the one? So this is the Pacifica Natural Beauty Big Dreams Mascara. And I am taking this because I don't have any of my other one that I really wanted to use. I'm going to do this first. Okay, so I got a nice coat of mascara on, and now I'm honestly going to take this dried out, <laughs> um, their real mascara wand, and kind of go through and separate. The next product I've been using a lot for highlighter instead of that butterscotch is actually the Sweet Peach Glow. I use the first pan and then the second pan as like blush and highlighter, uh, first pan, see, obviously very broken, second pan, also very broken, because I am ratchet as shit, you guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel, I'm ratchet, honestly, I, I just work with what I got, you know, <laughs> on a budget. And that's pretty much my face. Also, really loud. I'm sorry, I'm making so much damn noise. Do, do, do. What do I do for my lips? Because I don't know what I do for my lips. Cause... 
Oh, wait. I do know. I put on a chapstick literally because my lips are so chapped lately because I have been going to the uh, water park a lot. My lips still have not recovered because I'm pretty sure they got sunburned one day. So I have just been putting chapstick over them and I'm good to go. To be honest, I am just so basic and boring. You guys can't even really... It's nothing fancy. Um, I really, really, really like the... Uh, I really, really like the Color Shock shadows from ColourPop. I also really like the foundation stick and the, um, what are they called? Just so I can give you the right names. The No Filter Concealer and the foundation stick. I love them. Probably the best foundation and concealer I have used. And that's, these shadows are beautiful. Like I said, you can use one and kind of just blend it out on your eye and it makes a statement and you really don't have to do anything else. Um, I will say though, I did tell you I was going to review the uh, brunch, brunch Date palette by Zoella. I did really like this. It swatches freaking gorgeously, but I will say some of her colors are a little chalky like this one that is Sunday Fun Day. It's probably my favorite color. It's my most used color and I don't know if that's a good thing because you touch it and I mean I'm gonna swatch it for you so you can see that's it it's freaking gorgeous but it um, has a lot of fallout and I feel like when I use it I I only get to actually use about half of it and the rest of it is fallout so it is like kind of probably gonna hit pan really soon just because of the fallout of it and it kind of just flakes but it's really pretty I also really like um Skinny Latte, it is also a beautiful color. I don't think it, it's the other egg color right there. Um, I don't think that it necessarily does as bad as the Sunday Fun Day. It's beautiful, but I don't think that it really kind of crackles and falls out as much as the other one. The colors are pretty. Um, I just, the pan is kind of small. Like, the pans for them are small. And this color, French Toast, doesn't do much. Like, it looks pretty on there, but it just, it doesn't do shit for me. And I really like that color. It's the only kind of red color besides that pink in here. And then Extra Slice, just, I don't know, it's like a shimmery brown, and it's just kind of chalky-like. But, I mean, besides that, a lot of the colors are really, really pretty. I don't know, I'd love to use Brunch Club, which is that really bright blue. It's just... I don't know what to do with it. A lot of the colors are gorgeous, but some of them, the matte colors seem to be very chalky, and the one that is extra slice is like a matte color with glitter in it, and it's just very, I don't know, even on my arm, they're just, they're just kind of boring. They don't really blend well, and they're chalky, but a lot of the colors are really pretty. I do like um, Sunday Fun Day. I love Skinny Latte. Cinnamon sugar is nice, and so is the champagne toast. Those are the ones that I use the most um, because they're, like, glittery and they just they tend to blend better. I'm sorry if I'm putting shadows all over my face. Um, but besides that, it's a nice palette. I do like it. I think it was worth the price. I just wish that some of the other colors blended better together because it kind of only gives you so many options when it comes to actually making... A look like I don't know if you can tell but like I've only used this like three or four times and there is like shadow all over it because of the fallout it just falls out all over every time I open this palette I have to like blow it off and then every time I'm done using it, I have to blow it off because it just there's a lot of fallout you can tell like the outside is kind of dirty because it just there's fallout a lot of fallout from the colors but they are pretty colors I mean I I'm not hating on this because this is probably one of the best palettes I've ever owned as far as eyeshadows go. I just think that I'm probably going to jump and use these more often than this. I might use one or two colors out of here, but I'll probably... I wish that I could get individual pans of some of these colors, and then I'd probably use them more. So, not a bad palette. I love Zoella. She would probably always be one of my favorite YouTubers ever. I wish she would film a little more, but this is a good palette. I don't know, even her, like now when she posts videos, you don't see her playing with her own palette as much. I think before when she was trying to sell it, she 
uh, talked about it a lot and did looks with it, but now I don't really see her using it that much. Like, she posts, even, like, on her Instagram, she's, like, using other things besides her palette, and I feel like if you have a palette with things that you love, you're going to use it a lot, and I just, I feel like she did it while she was selling it, and now she's not really using it as much, so it is what it is. Um, I bought the palette, um, I like the palette for the most part, but I do think I will be using these individual colors, especially for the summer, I will be using these ones because they just blend on my tan skin very well, and they just look good, and it's nice to just use one color versus having to, like, make a whole shadow look out of colors that don't necessarily blend well together, and all of these just glide together, so... Yeah, that is my review sort of on the Zoella palette and on the Color Shock Shadows and the um, No Filter Stick and Concealer. I love these. If you guys are looking for a concealer and a foundation but you don't want to pay too much, I would definitely recommend these. If my Ulta sold them at the actual store, I would have bought them like a couple weeks ago before I had to wait for shipping on these because they're that good, I will be repurchasing these. I know in the winter I will need different colors because my skin won't be as tan, and I'm going to purchase that because these are just great quality. I am, for the price, the quality of this stuff is incredible. ColourPop is amazing. I feel like ugh, I'm so late to this game, but I love it. I love it so much. So definitely look into ColourPop if you are looking for some new makeup. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have, I want to keep filming and putting out more videos, so hopefully if you stay on my channel, you will see more videos coming out. Can't guarantee anything, but I hope so. Also, if you watched my last video, I talked about, um, it was a Dollar Tree haul, and I talked about doing a hair update on some of the products I used, and I was using, like, a sun and stuff. That stuff's amazing. My hair is up right now, but that stuff is amazing, and it works very well. I went back and bought all of it they had, so just a little update there. Um, I will talk to you all in the next video, and bye-bye.